We yeah. want to see. We want to see. We want to talk about the one that had the keys. Okay. So okay. Trying to make Paul be, you know, we we ain't taking nothing away from Paul, but the machine Paul. gave Paul, uh, Peter everything. Yeah, Paul was strong, yo. He's strong. Oh, yeah. Yeah. About that. yeah, 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 for sure. Man, say I'm a Pharisee, fashion. So he knew what time it was. So we gonna respect him, but I certainly agree that the, the machine gave the keys to Peter. I'm agree. Totally Paul. agree. Yeah, definitely. So let's let's look at this. Peter, an apostle of Yahushua HaMashiach, to those who are elect exiles, because we know so we know who that's talking about, right. of the disp dis uh, dis uh, dispersion in Pontius, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. So right. we already know. He tells us right here, elect exiles. Right. So that's, that's right. right? Yeah. Well, we can go, we can go look at the scattered right over here. I mean, he, he why he said I will scatter you among the nations and I will unsheathe the sword after you. It's all right. over the place. And wow. he, he named Pontius, right? Right. The later, here's Acts. Now them dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews of out men from every nation under heaven, right? Right. And I mean, right there. Then he starts naming the Parthians, Medes, El Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia. Let's add in the Americas as well, because I think that's fair to say the Caribbeans, the Americas, wherever the ports, slave ports were, we can add those or we can uh, replace that with Pontius, Galatians, you know, all, all the other ones he was talking about, because in these times it pertains to to uh, to, to everybody still, but you know, I think it's like adding the Americas. Well, I mean, he said we were going to be scattered all over to the right. four corners. Well, this is one of the four corners, right? Correct. All right. Now, according to the foreknowledge of Elohim the Father, or Yahuwah, El or Yahuwah the Father, and the sanctification of the Spirit, see, because we see, we see that, this, that you got to have the Spirit, that's what's going to set you apart for right. obedience. Without <clears throat> the Spirit, it's impossible, because you're going to have the lust of the flesh, right? Correct. To Yahushua HaMashiach and for sprinkling with his blood. May great and peace be multiplied to you. And uh, blessed is be Yahuwah uh, and father of uh, Elohim and father of our sovereign Yahushua HaMashiach. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope, right? Because we always thought born again meant what? You know, like you, I'm born again. Like that's something now. You, your mind, you just got to change your mind. You, mm -hmm. you don't got to understand it now. Through the resurrection of Yahushua HaMashiach from the dead. To an inheritance, because that's what we're looking for, that is imperishable, right? That's why we don't be depending on, because what, what what the scripture said, or, or the letter said, Peter told you. You know, we see these things. I mean, uh, everything is happening to you, everything that's happening before your eyes, and we know that this earth is going to pass away. So why is we all stuck on something that you know is fading? So he said, imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, like this earth is fading right now, kept in heaven for you, who by Elohim's power are being guarded through faith. So we see that through faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. So by us being obedient through faith, we got protection. Because if you're faithful, that means you're going to keep the commandments, right? Because, you know, when we came up going through, like, uh, these different churches, uh, you know, I got I, I got faith. We thought we had faith. All right. But what do we have faith in? And this right. you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, have been grieved by various trials. That's basically, and that's, I'm, I'm reading this out the ESV. All right. Let me see something. You can't see this in the, uh, uh, let me see. You can't see this. Uh, it says something else in the King Jimmy. So let's do this here. Uh, no, we're going to keep going. Um, so, so we know we're going to have to have different type of trials, right? We know that. Okay, it's telling us that we can go to James and uh, James 1 and 2. So, uh, so that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, that perishes. See, because without various trials, how can we be, how can our genuineness, our genuineness be tested? Though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor and the revelation of Yahushua HaMashiach. 
So we know everything has to go through file. But didn't Paul say something about that fact that our faith would be tested? And then, it, and then at the end, that all our, all of our works would be tried in fire. I'm just reading that. I'm thinking of Corinthians, right? First yep. Corinthians, Paul was talking about yeah. how our faith is going to be tested through it fire, right? Yeah. So, but you yeah. see, I'm only saying that to share that how they build on each other's doctrine, how they build on each other's, uh, uh, how they build it on the, the, the uh, the scriptures, that's all I'm trying to say. No, nah, you're absolutely right. Because, I mean, that's all they can't. What else could they, what else right. did they have to build on? Right. You understand what I'm saying? What else did they have? They didn't have nothing else to build on. So we look at this. It says, uh, 1 Peter 4 and 12, Beloved, be not surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. You see what I'm saying? We, we right. understand it. We know what it is, right? Right. Job 23 and 10. But he knows the way that I take. When he has tried me, I shall come out as gold. All right. And go to Psalms. For you, O Elohim, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid a crushing burden on our backs. <laughs> wow. You let men ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. Yet you have brought us out to a place of abundance. I mean, and it goes on and on. I mean, Proverbs, the crucible is for silver and the furnace for gold, and Yahoo attests the minds. So we're not supposed to be all jacked up when these tests come, right? First Corinthians chapter 313. Mm hmm Go ahead, hit it. No, no, I'm just, it's right there in the corner. You know what I'm saying? It's right there in the corner. Okay. But I was talking about what Paul was saying. I'm thinking that's first Corinthians. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Keep it rolling. Keep it moving. Okay. Maybe be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Yahushua HaMashiach. So that's what we want to be. So when he reveals himself, we want to be, you know, we, we in other words, we want to get his praise. You know, you did great, my faithful servant. And you're going to catch the glory because now you see what it really is. And you're going to have honor because we know in, in the new kingdom, we're going to be the boss. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. First Peter 1 and 8, though you have not seen him, you love him. That's powerful. You said something about that some years ago. You know how powerful that is? Though you do not, not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory. So that's powerful because they saw him and they didn't believe. But here we right. are in this. Oh, we can go by his books and well, you know right. we watch videos and all this and some history. Right. But then guess what? We willing to take the walk. We willing to go. One of the definitions for glory is weight. You know what I'm saying? When you yeah. see me in my full power, right? My, my authority, my full authority, right? You know what I'm saying? So our father saw him, his, his glory, his power, his weight, and the fullness of his authority, right? You know what I'm saying? Part of the Red Sea came to the earth, worked miracles, you know what I'm saying? Fed them, you know what I'm saying? Appeared back to them for 40 days, right? Doing all kinds of miracles. This is the book that I even spoken of, right? You know what I'm saying? But yet, it's, it's amazing. They still fail to believe. Right. Still. And look at it to these days. We, we, people go to church all the time. Bible right there. Yah said he's going to bring storms. He's going to bring these tornadoes. He's going to bring the tempest. Right. He's going to do all these things to try it. Because when you really look at it, when you look at the places that's getting destroyed, it's places we ain't even never heard of. But we ain't heard of it because we don't have $400,000 to live there. Right. I feel bad. That, you know, I mean, I hate when people when people die, and I definitely hate I hate to see people in these conditions. My mother's stuck down there. You understand what I'm saying? But, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, sometimes, I guess with them, with the nations, he has to, because they're so wrapped up in lust of the flesh and lust of everything and, and wanting all these things. If you don't take that from them, they'll never think about him. But if you notice when he does that, what's the first thing they say? Oh, my God. Right. They yeah, cry out. Jesus. Right. All this type of stuff, right? So obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your soul. Concerning this salvation, the prophets who prophesied about the grace that was to be yours, search and inquire carefully. I like because, that. And I, I like that. it. That's why I like this ESV. Because well, you know, it, it, it says that, that it, the, uh, the grace that was to be yours, search it and inquire carefully which means that we gotta you know you don't rush to do anything you ain't we ain't rushing nothing we gotta search it out carefully right 
you, right. you you see that that's powerful, man. Because you know, oftentimes we want we talk about that this morning. We want instant gratification, but that's not what he's saying. Right. So that's what we got to do too. We got to do the same thing. Now let's go look at this. Let's see what we can see. All right. So First Peter eleven, inquiring that person or time the spirit of Christ is in them was indicating when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the subsequent glory. So again, we know that each prophet they had, when the books was written, they had different things that they was reading. Like they was reading the prophet of this, right? So they were searching. Right. Was looking. Bang. right. Daniel said, then he said, uh, then I turned my face to Yahuwah Elohim, seeking him by prayer and, and pleas for mercy with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. We know when we do, we fast like this, we looking for an answer for something. Right. Right? Let's let's go down here and look at this one. Uh, so what did Mashiach tell you? Search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life, and it is they that bear witness of me. So how are you gonna know about this? What what they was looking in if we don't search the scriptures? That's all I'm trying to say. Right. We careful. See, because I guess what I'm trying to say is we we know coming up as we have, right? Right, that oftentimes. We search the scriptures, but we're not searching the scripture carefully, right? We kind of right. just reading it and then moving on, right? But not really digging in to, like you say, to uh, to correlate with it should correlate with, with the prophets. I'm trying to say, but if you don't believe yep. in the prophets, then you then you won't you can't get it. You're not searching it carefully, right? You, right. You understand what I'm saying? I, I know exactly what you're saying. I mean, it's right there. Yeah. Let, let me do something real quick. Hold on, Moshe. Let me make sure of something. I want to make sure that I got this thing on here right. Yeah, I'm hoping it came. Okay, let's see. All right, let's do this now. Let's go back to where we was at. All right. It's a trip trying to learn how to use this joker, man. But I, I got pretty good a little bit over the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Now, inquiring what person, oh, I'm sorry, yeah. So it says that about the grace that was to be yours, search and inquire carefully. So we know that we can go and look around, but we know the grace he's talking about because the grace is the Mashiach. That's what he was looking for to come, to rescue Israel, to save right. Israel, right? Correct. Inquiring what person or time, the spirit of Christ in them, because we know if we go back, and we start looking in the scripture, right, which is from Genesis to Malachi. We know that the, he put his spirit on different people at different times, right? But we right. know that the prophecy, they was dealing with the spirit. But everybody didn't have a spirit back then. So uh, the spirit of Christ in them was indicating when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the subsequent glories. That's, yeah, Peter was a bad dude. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves, but you or him in the things that have, or he could say us, because they're the ones that laid the foundation. Like, Correct. You know, it's like when we, he gave us the parable of the sowers and the farmers or the husbandmen, whatever. Okay, we are supposed to have a plot of land when we come in this thing that we have to cultivate. We have to take this farm or this little area he gave us, we're supposed to produce some type of fruit. Right? Because he's giving us talents. We're supposed to make that talent be something else. Right. See? So he's saying, like, let's, let's look at this. It was revealed to them they were serving not themselves, but you. Because this is how we get understanding, right? He just told us it by the apostles and their prophets. And the things that have now been announced to you through those who preach the good news to you. Because what else do we have to give? But we've been tricked into giving half a book. You know, forget about the right. prophets. This is how people go wrong. Because you got one half of a book and you've been told that you don't need the prophets. But then Correct. we're seeing the prophets had the spirit of Christ in them. Right. Why wouldn't I want to? I mean, if I'm if I'm looking to him, I got to go look for them too. By right. the by the set apart spirit sent from heaven, things which messengers long to look into. Therefore, preparing your minds for action and mm -hmm. being sober minded. Now, what? Preparing your mind for action. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and then we see that the translation in the Greek is girding up the loins of your mind, being sober minded, set your hope fully on grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Yahushua HaMashiach. 
as obedient children. Do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance. See, so we have to keep our body under subjection because we just got them seeing how Daniel seek the thing out. He was prayer and fast. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you're going to be able to get yourself under control. But as he who called you is set apart, you also be set apart in all your conduct. Because it says in, in the King James, it's, what does it say? In all your conversation. But see, right. that makes a person think, uh, it's just kind of, you know by my conversation. No, no, it's your conversation, what you look at, what you touch, the way you walk, the way you talk, how you act toward people. When people get on your nerves, can you just be quiet and just let them have their way? All these things. All right? Since it is written. So we know if it's written, it has to be written somewhere. So he cited from he cited from Levi 11 and 44. Let's go look. For I am Yahweh your Elohim. Consecrate yourself, therefore, and be holy, for I am holy. You shall not defile yourself with any swarming thing that crawls on the ground. So that's the other thing that we miss. Because people think that, that, that when they write these letters, they just came up with this. No, they right. didn't. They had to have a source that they was getting Correct. it from. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Uh, so we're supposed to conduct ourselves with fear throughout the time of our of, of your exile. So ain't we exiled here? Yes, sir. Ain't we, ain't we pilgrims? It goes back to what he said, to the 12 scribes scattered abroad. Right. right. So we know that's what he's talking about, but we can take that same thing on us today. We are sojourners here in America or in England or wherever we find ourselves in Mexico or wherever y'all scattered us to. I mean, we find ourselves in this situation, but we always got to remember that we exiled. This is not our home, but some of us think, that, you know how we talk to some of us, I'm an American. How are you an American? Do you only have the same rights as the average of us, as a, what, what they call an American? They come up with special laws to stop you from getting this, enjoying the same life and liberty and all this stuff that their constitution has. But we know we follow our constitution, which is what? Torah. See? Knowing that you were ransomed from the futile ways, right, by, by the Mishiach, inherited from your forefathers, because we know our forefathers is, is something else, man. You know, well, I don't believe in this. Let this, you know what? Then I tell you what, put the punishment on me and everybody, all my kids after me. <laughs> I mean, arrogant, not with perishable things such as silver or gold. And you know, those items right there got our people more twisted right now than anything else. But with the precious blood of Yahusha, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. So we, we understand what the sacrifice was. We know what a day of atonement coming up. We understand that. See, that's why all the bulls and goats. But no, no, go ahead, brother. You're going to say something. Go ahead. Well, I'm, I'm saying that. I'm good. He was first foreknown before the foundation of the world, but was made manifest in the last times for us. Who through him are believers in Allahim, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that your faith and hope are in him. Why would our faith and hope be in him? Well, we know if he raised the Mashiach, and if we love him and keep his commandments, guess what? We got the same hope that he's going to raise us. Correct. And not only that, he's going to raise us at the first resurrection. Correct. So by having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth, right? What's mm -hmm. truth? Truth is the commandments, right? It's, we can go into right. the song. Yet a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. And again, since you have been born again, not of per perishable seed, but of an imperishable, through the living and abiding word of Yahoo, right? Because we said, no, he said, not of seeds, but seed, right? Mm -hmm. For all flesh is like grass and all its glory like the flower of grass. The grass withers and the flower falls. See? And we, and then and that, that should give us an indication of how short this life really is. Right. Right now, I'm looking outside. I, I probably got to cut this grass one more time, and that's it. Because it's going to start turning brown. It's going to go back into the sleep state. They'll right. wait to be born again. Flowers and everything, they fade now. See, every year. And they, then Yah is so merciful. He, he, he resurrects them every year at the same time that they're supposed to be resurrected. 
See, it's just, man, this word is just so true. But the word of Yahoo remains forever. And this word is the good news that was preached to you. All right, let's look at this part two. So put away all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all slander. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk that by it you may grow up into salvation, right? Because that's what we're supposed to be doing right now, right? And some of us can still be on milk for years. You know, when you talk to your, talk to your grandmother or something, she's been going to Mount Zion Baptist, tallest Zion on the hill church for 50 years. And you talk to her about things that she should know, and she's still on milk. So she has never grown up. And, I mean, that's some of the problem, too. See? If indeed you have tasted that the sovereign is good, as you come to him, a living stone, rejected by men, but in the sight of Elohim chosen and precious. So we know when he's saying a living stone, we got to be a living stone. Because why? Because that means that we fitly put together within, in the temple that he's trying to build. Right? He's the cornerstone. We are, and then you have, I mean, the cornerstone is laid. Then the foundation, when they build a house, you got the prophets. Then here it is, the house going up, it's the, it's the, it's the apostle. And then we in there too. So wow. you yourself, like, uh, like stones are built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahuwah through Hamashiach. Well, what, what is the spiritual sacrifices? Spiritual sacrifices, that's when we doing the things that we should. Okay, man, they having a cookout. You know, my mother having it. I really don't want to go, but it's my mother. I'm going to go because I know what they're doing. And they got pork everywhere. Boy, how come you ain't eating nothing? Well, you know, my mom, what you mean you what, ain't what, eating what, 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 So spiritual sacrifice to me would be our prayer, wouldn't it? That's part of it, our prayers. So we're offering, up, a, we're offering right. up prayers that are acceptable to the Father. Yep, and that's part of the it. Mashiach. So that's I, I, that's what, that's what I would be out of. That's that's a spiritual sacrifice. But then also a spiritual sacrifice is us. Because see, when you sac with something with sacrifice, that means you had to give something up, right? Right. You either a prize goat, a prize bull, right? A prize lamb, the best right. that you had. You supposed to uh, without blemish or spot. But that's what so, I'm saying, though. So that's what I'm saying because we yeah. present our body. As a living sacrifice. Exactly. So that's what I was saying. So our bodies, because we are, I like that word, immersed. Right? I like that word. I think it's a powerful word. So we have been immersed, right? Now yeah, we come up of it. as a new creature with a new thought pattern, right? right? Now we present our bodies, right, as the living sacrifice to offer yes. us prayers and thanksgiving to the Father that we, you know, that he may receive our prayers, right? Okay, like, remember know. remember when we read and it said and in your conversation. Correct. And we, if we look that word conversation all the way up in the in the lexicon, it's gonna say your conduct, the way you Yeah, walk. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That I mean that's exactly what I'm saying, right? But it's too it's 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 I'm trying to think of the scripture that I think it'll correlate this. We said, Do you not know that ye are the temple of the living spirit and that he will destroy that which you you know that you use for evil. I mean, I think Paul says something like that. So because we are that temple, I dwell. I don't desire to dwell in. I never desire to dwell in something that you build by hand. I've always desired to dwell in my people. It, because you just say we just got to be reading that we are the stones, the lively stones that, right. that make up the kingdom. All right. So so. It's, so it's about right. us, right? I'm when I, and when I mean us, I'm not talking about it's about us. I'm, when I say us, I'm not talk, I never supersede the Mashiach, but it's about us yielding, right? Yielding our members, right? To be this living sacrifice to offer. That, right. That's just me. I agree. That's totally right. And like you said, prayer and fasting go hand in hand. Uh, believing enough that you get immersed and move into a covenant with him, the way I right. talk. There you go. All these things are sacrifices. All these things. And it also works because right. the commercial right. can right. work. Right. 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 Going out here feeding the homeless. Going out here helping the old lady, her grass overgrown. Man, can I can I cut your grass for you? I ain't got no money. Baby, I, mama, I ain't asked you for no money. I'm just finna do it. You know, matter of fact, every two weeks I'll come back and do it for you. So your so your house look nice. Maybe put some flowers in there for her and all that. 
You know what I'm saying? This is the, that all of that is that all is a, is a formula for righteousness. So, so that's two and six. For it stands in Scripture: Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in Him will not be put to shame. Right? So that's just it. Look at Psalms 89 and 10. Of old you spoke in a vision to your godly one that said, I have granted help to one who is mighty. I have exalted one chosen from the people. Isaiah 42 and 1. Behold, my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nation. I mean, it's all there. What he shall do. Let those be put to shame and disappointed altogether who seek to snatch away my life. Let those be turned back and brought to dishonor who delight in my hurt. So, I mean, it's all over the place. So they say, so, and a, and a stone, and a, I'm sorry, but for those who do not, so the honor is for you who believe, but for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders reject has become the cornerstone. Hey, the Pharisees was all over this brother, doing all kinds of stuff. They tried to stop him, but they didn't realize what he had become to them. And a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. They stumble because they disobey the word as they were de destined to do. See, because that breath that's blowed in us, everybody has the same chance. Whether you cultivate that breath into up to be upright, or you walk away from the breath altogether to live in your own vain, vain imagination. Either way, the Mashiach is going to be a stumbling block to some, and he's going to give some honor and glory. But you are a chosen race a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And we know the book says that men love darkness, right? Mm -hmm. Once you were not a people, but now you are Elohim's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. So these are exiles coming back. Because they was eating, living, and doing everything else where they was at. They was like the Greeks. Most of them spoke Greek. They was running around acting like they was Greeks. They thought they was Greeks. So you ask them what they was, they would tell you they was a Greek. But now he's giving them a chance. Beloved, I urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passions of the flesh or the lust of the flesh, which wage war against your soul. Because you know this, man. You remember back in back in the 70s when we were saved? You, man, you you couldn't you couldn't man. Ain't, we ain't watching this on TV. Right. We ain't worried about watching football every Sunday. Right. I ain't listening to that. I don't listen to that type of music. That's so true. Right? So true. Sister got a long skirt on, her breasts and all that's covered. So you know, ten to one, she got her head covered. She not doing this. She ain't. She don't smoke cigarettes. Now I don't drink nothing. I mean, that's to the point where even when we had communion, they wouldn't even have real wine. They had grape juice. So true. But then a lot of us, we get a little understanding and just go crazy. So he says what? Keep your conduct or your conversation among the Gentiles honorable, so that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may see your good deeds and glorify Elohim on the day of visitation. Because mm. we know that the world hates him, so they're going to hate us too. But then what can they say? I don't like that dude. Well, man, what do we do? He eat by himself. He don't never be in none of our jokes. He don't. He can't tell us about the game because he don't watch football. Every time the boss come around, I peep around the corner. He working. What I mean, well, I just don't like him, and I'm gonna speak evil of him. Okay, we'll do that. But something going on with this cat. Be subject for the sovereign's sake to every human institution, whether it be to the emperor as supreme or to the governors as sent by him to punish those who do evil, to praise those who do good. And we know most of the time, if you, especially if you in Yah, them man, police don't be, but they ain't thinking about you. One thing they might tell you, look, man, you know we got an ordinance over. You can't, I know you want to help the poor and all that. You can't get his food out. I mean, look, man, I don't got all this food, man. All right, we'll go ahead and do this now. Don't let me see you back over here doing this. You see what I'm saying? Well, can I see mm -hmm. your ID? Yeah, officer, here you go. Here's my ID. I, don't, I mean, what, what, I mean, why, what's the problem? I, I don't have no constitutional rights, so I don't, I'm not going to argue with you about anything. Whatever you decide to do, it's in, I mean, your hands, but I'm also in y'all's hands, right? But what do we do? Man, look, man, don't touch me. Don't touch me. 
you know, man, we saw you, we got all these goods in the and they'd be guilty doing this. This would be blowing my mind. They'd be guilty of stealing all this stuff. And now you talking about you got rights. I mean, you a thief. So, again, this is why we see to punish those who do evil and to praise those who do good. But this is the will of Elohim, that by doing good, you should be put to silence the ignorance of the foolish people. <laughs> Live as people who are free, not using your freedom as a cover-up for evil. Right? but living as servants of Yahuwah. Let's see, verse 17, honor everyone, love the brotherhood, fear Elohim, honor the emperor. Well, we got to have, I mean, what else can we do? Servants, be subject to your masters. That's, now, this is one of a lot of people, man, but see, they put that in there because of slavery. See, they want us to, listen, man, you disobey your Elohim. He's the one that put you in this position. What else could be said? With all respect, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the unjust. So no matter what they do, we still got to obey their laws. We still got to go about doing the right thing until we get up out of here. Because again, this is not our home. We sojourners. We pilgrims. For this is a gracious thing. When mindful of Elohim, one endures sorrows with, while suffering uh, in, unjustly. Okay, they lock you up. You ain't the person. You ain't did nothing. Okay, are you supposed to be out of control and mad? No, you're supposed to be like, okay, well, maybe maybe y'all got me somebody he want me to meet. Why? Why? Because well, I know he's going to get me out of this because I ain't did nothing. So maybe there's somebody he want me to reach in there. Maybe somebody that's praying to him right now, saying they, they wish they could know. And you happen to be the one I choose to do it. It's honoring that, right? I mean, Paul was able to save a jailer. He caused a jailer to repent. So yeah, it is what it he's is. He's going to commit suicide. Right. Hey, don't, don't harm yourself. Don't do that, bro. When he caused the dealer to repent, so. Right. Well, what credit is it if when you sin and are beaten for it, you endure? Well, you're supposed to get beat because you ain't, I mean, you, you got caught stealing out of Walmart. But if when you do good and suffer for it, you endure, this is gracious thing in, your, in the sight of Allah for to this you have been called because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you might follow in his steps. He committed, I mean, that's, and that's deep, man. Think about that, Moshe. But she had, ain't did nothing but right. He right, came full, sure. of, full of grace, he full of truth. You understand? He's a law that was walking around in the flesh. Man, look what they did to him. Tied him up, smacked him all up in his mouth. Right. You understand? Pulled his beard, did all this stuff. He, he, I mean, part, uh, part that had to dang on beg, dang, dang on beg this man to even speak to him. Because he just right. stand there he just saying a word. Right. See, so if we, if we supposed to be following Christ, we supposed to have that in our mind. Because who can say right. tomorrow? That That's why I say, this? man, I love this book because the Mashiach, as far as I know, was the first person to invoke the right to remain silent. He invoked right. that right. When Paul right. asked him, he didn't even answer him, right? Because I, but I could only imagine his mind. He was saying, "Man, why are you? Why? 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 My, you know." In his mind, I'm thinking, "My, now these they know better. They've got me before this pagan, right? We were never supposed to do that, right? We were supposed to bring him before our own courts, but they had him before Caesar." And he said, "Man, listen, I ain't even got. I'm not even supposed to be dealing with you, but nevertheless, right? My, my will, right? My will be done." And then, and Right. And then when you watch some of the movies, they he'd be like, Man, look, I'm trying to give you a chance to save yourself, man. And you ain't got right. nothing to say. But then when you, when you when we understand the law, then we understand all the laws that they broke just to do this. Correct. Correct. Even punching a man in the mouth. We're not supposed to put our hands on each other. Right. right? Exactly. Having, having secret courts in the middle of the night. Exactly. You know? He's right. There you go. Exactly. He said, I did whatever I did, I did in the daytime. You saw what I did. Now you come and, and bring me before at night? Come on, man. Right. That's right. 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 At night. And then guess what? Where your witness is at? You got right. one person sitting up here talking about you. <laughs> I mean, it's I mean, when you look, if you when you that's why this book, man, when you one person when you understand the scriptures, man. I mean, it, you can see you can see the, the, the foolery. That's why we got that class on scoffers we're gonna put up there. Because how could you get scoffed? When you understand who Yahuwah is, how could you get scoffed 
I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, the, we we read some that said that the, the prophets embraced everything that they saw. They believed it. Could you believe? And then now all of a sudden you over here talking about the Emerald Tablets. How? How could Billy, whatever his name is, but, but you remember, man, remember the strong delusion, the shaking of the foundation. These things for well, the scripture cannot be broken. So these things must come to pass, right? So some I grabbed it for iron and some for this iron. And if we right. keep that in mind, then we'll understand it's power to it's power to to think on people being built for this iron. But if you just stop right. and think of what Judas was, Judas was built for this honor. When she, I told him that it's best if you haven't right. never been born. Nevertheless, Father chose you to be built for this honor. And then, you know, I was built for honor. Wow. It's just, it's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean. You, I, I, I mean, I, right? I, you see, you know, yeah. since some Simon, right? Born, That's... they're going to make that swim. They're going to do, they just, I mean, they do one hour. Boom, they come. There ain't gonna never get them. Thousands of other get ate up by bears. Bears need the nutrition, but they, I, 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 what can I say? Can I say? Well, like you said, that's what he was born for. Right. You know, right. and even the Mashiach seen it. You know what I mean? But what he gonna do if I'm okay? And then think about all he had to, like I said, he suffered. Here it is. He know that this is the man that's gonna turn me in for them to murder me. Right. But I'm still gonna go ahead and nevertheless, I'm gonna do the following will. Right. See? Verse 22. He committed no sin. Neither was the seed mm. found in his mouth mm. when he was when he was re, uh, reviled. Was it, when he, they slapped him in the head or they at him, right. screaming at him, he did not revile in turn. How many of us can do that, man? I blah blah. Well, man, who you talking to, man? Yeah. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but continued entrusting himself to Him who judges justly. He Himself bore our sins in His body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were straying like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your soul. Man, this, man Peter's a bad dude. We're going to hit one more, and then we'll pick it up next, next Shabbat. Likewise, why? Be subject to your husband, so that even if you some do not obey the word, they may be one without a word, by the conduct of them wives. You know, mm. these wives, they done made up these days. I ain't got to listen to him. He don't do nothing. I pay everything. Hell, he can't even get, when he get a job and he ain't making no money. When they see your respectful and pure conduct, because you're trying to get your husband in this thing. Do not let your uh, adorning be external. The braiding of hair, the putting on of gold and jewelry, or the clothing you wear. Well, we know when we was kids how the, how the mamas and grandmamas look when they went to church. Now it looks like they're going to the club. But let your adorning be the hidden person of the mind with the imperishable beauty of a gentle, quiet spirit. Man, you how many black women you know got this? Most of them, most of them, they walking in, they trying to walk in the truth. Because other than that, you we just saw it. We just say women, man, in general. Just women. They just it's women. Yeah, I know, but in these days. <laughs> Sisters be trying to supposed to be practicing. I ain't no but nothing, man. Just women, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, you got, you know, women. I know what you're you saying, no, I'm kidding. I get it. You know what you're saying? They loud mouth. What, what the Proverbs tell you about that type of woman? Be careful. Yeah, just women, man. They all say. Which in Elohim's sight is very precious. See? By them being gentle and quiet. For this is how the set apart women who hoped in Elohim used to adorn themselves. By submitting to their own husbands. Well, he ain't walking, he ain't doing nothing right. He didn't say that. Right? He said, love your parents. Okay, your mama was a crackhead and your daddy is a is a crook. Still supposed to love him. Right? As Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him sovereign, and you are her children. So you... so when he say love them, what what I'm thinking is if, if I, I would say honor them. In other words, do what they say, right? You're right, because in other words, you know, you got these parents that's not exactly great role models, but it's a wicked parent that teaches us. Most people are going to tell it just do, just obey them, right? Just do what they say, because after all, they did bring you into this world, right? All right. And plus, we know we grew up, man. We grew up, you had whole families that was criminals. 
their father was a criminal and our enemy, but that's what they was taught. But we also know if they would have just knew about Yahuwah and taught their children as he commanded us to do uh, on the scriptures and the commandments from the time they day little, so they won't depart from it. Because even if they wow. stray away, that's, they still going to know what's right and what's wrong. See? Wow. And Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him sovereign, and you are her children if you do good and do not fear anything that is frightening. Because he got to say that to them, because we mean women, they run on emotion, right? They right. they worry a lot. But if you if you got Yah in your in your in your life, what are you worried about? Likewise, husbands, oh, here we go. Live with your wives in an understanding way. Listen to them. And, I mean, they have input. They they and most of the time they be more right than we are anyway. Showing honor to the woman as the weaker vessel, since they are heirs with you of the grace of life so that your prayers may not be hindered. So basically, we're supposed to be living in harmony in our household. All right? And as the head of the household, it's our job to keep that harmony. As the head of the household, it's our job to lay down a, a foundation and proof of how we're supposed to live. So that way, the wife is going to grab her. Let me tell you, in my walk with this thing, when I went, when I was tripping, my wife, she kind of le leered back off me. But when I be doing right, I can't get it off me. Finally, all of you have unity of mind and sympathy, brotherly love, tender heart, and a humble mind. Do not repay evil for evil or, or arguing for arguing, but on the contrary, bless for to this you were called that you may obtain a blessing. Yeah, I mean, all these things that we do, it means something. And then all of a sudden, when the good things come, you'd be like, wow, what? how did I get this? Because you've been trying to do the right thing. For whoever desires to love life and see good days, what? Let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. That's real simple, ain't it? <laughs> you want to see life in good days? Watch what you say and say the right thing. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. So we know the scriptures is what? A peace. That's where we get our peace from. For the eyes of Yahuwah are on the righteous. And his ears open to their prayer. But the face of Yahuwah is against those who do evil. And we know that's true because we can go to Proverbs and it says, in prayers of, of, of the wicked, he don't even hear them. But we still get on our knees, even though we don't know him in prayer. So, so, so I would dare say Peter quoted that from Proverbs, right? He just put yeah. his own spin on it, right? So, you know, it goes back to what we talked about earlier, how they build their document, Proverbs, Psalms, Ezekiel. Yeah, it's the same as what we do, you know what I'm saying? Those of us with, um, those of us who the Most High gave understanding to, we go back to the prophets, and then we take it and we interpret it in our own way. Okay, now let's look at this. Now, who is there to harm you if you are zealous for what is good? Mm. What can they do? If they kill you, you're still going to get raised up. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? If they fire mm. you, guess what? Y'all going to give you a better job. Mm. We've seen it. As elders, we have seen these things yeah. over and over and over. But even if you should suffer for righteous sake, you will be blessed. Have no fear of them, nor be troubled. Well, we, we ain't supposed to worry about nothing. But we're supposed to understand that Yahuwah has everything in his hand. But in your minds, honor Christ the sovereign as set apart. Always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and respect. So we all supposed to be able to deliver this thing. You know what I mean? You all you supposed to be able to explain why you believe and have a book in your presence so I can show you in this book. This is why I believe this. Right? At all times, having a good conscience so that when you are slandered, those who, who revile you, your good behavior in Christ may be put to shame. Again, that goes back to look, man. This man, every time I see the man, he always work. I don't know, man. I just don't. He's one of them Hebrews, man. How do you know that? I see them fringes he got on. He had nerve to wear that at work. You know, he, he don't eat with us. He don't talk with us. I watched him when I was in line right next to him in the cafeteria. He ain't eat no pork. I thought he was a Muslim. But guess what? Now the man, and now his good works, y'all done talk to the supervisor. Yo, man, go ahead and get, go, go ahead and get that man a promotion. Now nah, you got put to shame because he's supposed to be all this wickedness, but ain't nobody else seen him as wickedness. But it's better to suffer for doing good if that should be Elohim's will than for doing evil. 
point blank. For Christ also suffered, right? Because we're supposed to always have him on our mind. Once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous. That he might bring us to Elohim, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. In which he went and proclaimed to the spirits in prison. Because they formerly did not obey when Elohim's patience waited in the days of Noah while the ark was being prepared, in which a few, that is, eight persons were brought safely through the water. <clears throat> so, again, they always give us examples of the books that people is told that they don't have to read no more. So how could you really understand how to get self? Yeah, I like that. It's verse, verse 13, uh, and he said, in which he went and proclaimed to the spirits in prison. That's something because. So when he was resurrected, he went to shield to preach to the prisoners. And to uh, meet up with the man that was the thief that was on the cross. Remember, remember they said there was a great gulf fix between the two. So I just, I, I just, I was reading. But my question to you is, okay, my question to you is, why would he preach to the damn? Well, they had a right to understand who he was and, and what the prophets seen to fire off. Uh, would that save them? I don't know. Right. Justin Chuck kind of got okay, so we 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 can talk about this later later. But that but why would he preach to the damn? It, it, like why would he do that, that right? Because we know they're too. damned. I don't owe you nothing. You know what I'm saying? So he and we know that he did the saints came back with him, those that were waiting uh, uh for the promise, because Prior to that, we had no place to go but to the to cell, right? But well, when he, no, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. so, so, at, like, so David and all the sons, and they knew that they would be resurrected. They knew that. They weren't even concerned about it, even though my soul uh, lies in prison, but I know my redeemer will come back to save me. But he says here, he preached to the prison, prisons, prisoners. And it's another scripture. Let's see. Let's look at this one. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Well, this is and why the gospel was preached even to those who are dead, that though that though judged in the flesh, the, the way people are, they might live in the spirit the way Elohim does. Do I understand that? It don't make sense. Because like you said, why would he go and talk to them? But it's got to be a reason. I, only Correct. thing I, only Correct. Thing I can come up with is because he's saying that they might live that they might live in the spirit the way Elohim does. Okay, it's kind of like from what we've been understanding, it's kind of too late for that, ain't it? Right, but maybe so maybe not because remember the right. dreams I said I had. Remember, I was like, dude, why you not? Why are you not trying to find? Me? And I was blown away because they wasn't trying to find repentance. They were doing the same thing, and they said, "Freedom, Mark, we haven't been judged yet." So I'm thinking, okay, if you haven't been judged yet, why are you not seeking repentance? Why are you not? You gonna keep it? It's just, it was just so mind blowing to me. Oh, see, so, maybe, maybe he. I mean, the thing is, it's because it's hard for me to try to see how. So when we go to the book of uh, Enoch, we go to the book of Jubilee. Right. We know that Methuselah and Moshe, I mean, and uh, Noah, talked to them for a hundred and some years. So and they still. So I don't know if that means he's gonna have. Because remember, he can have mercy on who he will. Right, right, he, but it just astounds. Maybe when we do, maybe there is a chance, right? Maybe there is a chance that when we do uh, go, that there is a place where we still have room for repentance. But remember, they didn't care. They still was remember the state they were in. I'm like, oh, you can't still do the same thing. So oh, even in, even in death, in that place that they were, they still didn't find room for repentance. Well, I'm saying that's it sounds like that. So maybe like again, I, I that's the only place in the scripture where I see this type of stuff, unless I go to another book. So my yeah, thing, that we have to dig it out. We have to dig it out. Yeah, we have to dig it out. We, I think we should put that to the side, man. We should get on that one right Okay, well we can we can do that. We can do that. Mm -hmm. We'll put that to the side and go look. But like I said, I ain't never seen because I kept saying I it threw me for a loop too. So only 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 explanation at this time or at that time I could come up with is I said, Well, you know what? Maybe you know, Elohim has mercy on who he will. You know what I'm saying? He, I mean, it's up to him. Because, you know, I mean, people, well, how can he let him do it? How can he? Well, he's Elohim. Yeah, that's what he some wants. Some vessels built for honor. Some vessels built for dishonor. So 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, we know, you know, it kind of goes back to that, but why would he proclaim, right? That's proclaim to proclaim something, right? It's 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 when the king, you know how the king he goes out, the man come out, the angel proclaimed the good news. There he was in the prison in the spiritual. So he went to proclaim, right? His his victory, right? I'm proclaiming yeah, yeah. that That's I am. It could be that. It could be that. That's what I'm saying. So we'll dig this out and then we'll bring it back up. Yeah, for sure. Okay, sure. baptism, which corresponds to this, now saves you not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to Elohim for a good conscience. Because that's why we get this. Because we are right. good, good conscience. And we want our conscience, what? To be born again, to be relived, to have a new understanding. Because we're right. supposed to have the consciousness of Christ through the resurrection of Yahushua HaMashiach, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of Elohim with messengers, authorities, and powers have been subject to him. Because now mm -hmm. he the man. Okay, so we'll stop right here. But we gonna, we'll, and we'll get back up here at 3.30. I just want to kind of catch up to where we was at. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll we stop that uh, for last night. So All right, bro. We'll keep doing this together. But we're going to go ahead. Maybe we'll get together sometime during the week uh, and see if we can figure this thing out with why he went down to Hades. Right, and to preach. To Mm-hmm. All right. All right, my brother. All right, bro. We'll talk. Good time, man. Shalom. See you at three, brother. Shalom. All right.